let's look now at slicing data frames. Remember, we're still using our sales data frame. We assume that pandas has already been imported as PD. The basic indexing here picks a column by default. The result returned is actually a pandas series. A series is a one-dimensional array with a labeled index, like a hybrid between a NumPy array and a dictionary. Another way to think of a data frame is a labeled two-dimensional array with series for the columns sharing common row labels. Slicing can be performed with or without accesses. Having worked with Python lists, we're familiar with the colon syntax for slicing. For instance, we remember positional slicing is half open, so slicing 1 colon 4 extracts positions 1, 2, and 3 indexed from 0. Thus here, we extract the eggs column as a series, and then select those three elements from the series. Pandas extends this colon syntax to allow labels in slices. Here, the first colon selects all rows. The slice eggs colon salt selects both columns eggs and salt. This is a potential gotcha with slicing with labels and the dot loc accessor. It includes the right endpoint, unlike positional slicing seen so far. This example is similar in using the dot loc accessor to slice all columns in some rows. The first slice, Jan colon April, extracts all four rows corresponding to January, February, March, and April inclusive. The second bare colon is a universal slice selecting all columns. This example extracts a block with a proper subset of rows and columns from March to May inclusive and from salt to spam inclusive. Using .iloc is very similar to using .loc, simply with positional integers specifying slices rather than labels. Here, we extract the same slice as before using .iloc. From row 2 up to but not including row 5, and from column 1 to the last column. Remember, omitting the explicit start or end in a slice means we slice from the beginning or to the end, respectively. Both the .iloc and .loc accessors can use lists in place of slices. Here is an example of using .loc and a list of two columns. Here's another using .iloc and a list of three rows. Remember, with .iloc, the column slice 0, colon, 2 selects only two columns. Here's an important subtle distinction to understand. Selecting df, left bracket, eggs, right bracket, yields a series from the column labeled eggs. Selecting df, left bracket, left bracket, eggs, right bracket, right bracket, returns the data frame consisting of a single column, namely eggs. Many, but not all, operations are shared between data frames and series, and a series is always only one dimension of labeled data. Now that you've learned pandas slicing idioms, here are some exercises for you to work on.